Breaking now at 6 o'clock, a 17-year-old in custody charged in an afternoon shooting that left a 14-year-old boy dead and a 14-year-old girl hurt. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Dardis. And good evening to you. I'm Cherie Palello. The victim identified to us today as Amani Smith. He was an 8th grader at Holmes Middle School. WLWT News News's Brian Hammer spent the day with Amani's family, learning more about what exactly led up to this shooting. Hi there, Brian. Yeah, Cherie, well, the parents tell us this 14-year-old victim who was shot and killed wasn't even the target. They believe it was his older brother. Now, I want to show you what's happening out here. This is the scene where this all happened. A group's gathered out here, a family and friends for a vigil. In fact, they're going to have a balloon launch here in just a few minutes. You can see all the people lined up out here. This is uh, right at DeCourcy at 39th. Now, there's a memorial that's grown throughout the day as well. And so is a line of people in disbelief. Among the memorials where a 14 year old was shot to death, the rain poured along with the tears. Oh. Family and friends of the victim stood there soaked in sorrow. He's such a good boy and I had to see him laying there like that. Amber Smith and Buddy Walton. He was a, he was a he's gonna be truly missed. Mm -hmm. My boy is gonna be missed. Our parents of the victim Amani Smith. He just turned 14 this month. Amani was a good kid. Amani <laughs> was a, a, Funny, a happy goofy. spirit spirit kid. They've robbed us. They've robbed us of somebody very special. <laughs> he was so special. Amani was gunned down as he walked with several other teens along the course near 39th. His girlfriend, also 14, shot two, hitting the leg. Amani's parents tell us he wasn't the real target. It was his brother. The parents claimed the assassin and other suspects couldn't find the brother. They found the next family member, Amani, and opened fire. They ambushed my kid. My kid wasn't no bad person. My kid was ambushed. The parents say Amani was going to his grandmother's not far from where he was shot. He got a call from his brother warning him to be aware when he was attacked. He was on his phone with his older brother. And his older brother said the last, his last words was, I ain't got nothing on me, and then his phone dropped. He's not a bad kid. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. And as the drizzle continued, the family held on to each other in a torrent of pain. Yeah, and a lot of those same family members who had been out here earlier today are out here again this evening preparing for this balloon launch uh, as we see them all gathered here very close to the exact spot where Amani was gunned down here. Now so far just one suspect in custody that's a 17 year old police are not naming because of his age but witnesses indicate there were others involved so there could be more arrests as we Watch this balloon launch about to go off here. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. Brian, I know you talked with the family. Do the parents know what this argument or disagreement was even about? They believe this whole thing started at school and it was between the older brother and the suspect and maybe some others and then escalated. They say they tried to get in touch with the school and do something about this, but they got nowhere with that, Cherie. Brian Hamrick reporting live for us tonight. Brian, thanks so much.